Your Clover Mini comes ready to set up and take payments in just minutes. In the box, you'll find your Clover Mini, a hub, power brick and power cord, paper roll, screwdriver, and a quick start guide. Let's get your Clover Mini connected. First, use the provided screwdriver to secure the hub cable. Next, connect the power brick to the hub. and the power cable to the power brick. To power on your Mini, simply plug it in. Follow the setup wizard to activate your device. Select the language for your setup. Now we'll connect to your network. You can connect via your Wi-Fi network, cellular service, or ethernet, whichever works best for you. We'll walk through connecting to each. Cellular connectivity is a great backup option when Wi-Fi or Ethernet goes down. Clover Mini comes LTE enabled and will automatically connect to a cellular network when powered on. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, tap Connect and select the name of your wireless network. Enter the network password and tap Next. If you prefer the Ethernet option, connect an Ethernet cable to the hub, then to your modem or router. Your device will automatically try to connect to the internet and will let you know when successfully connected. Just be sure to turn off any Wi-Fi networks. Your device may download and install the latest version of Clover software. It will reboot after the initial install. While you're waiting, Clover support will send you an email with the activation code for your device. The code will be sent to the email address used to set up your merchant account. If you have multiple Clover devices, each device has its own unique activation code. Use the device serial number to match it with the right code. If this is the first Clover device you've activated, you'll be asked to enter an admin passcode. This passcode gives access to your Clover devices as the owner or admin. If you already have an admin account, the setup process will skip this step and your apps will begin installing. After your apps install, you'll set a few initial settings such as whether you want to require a passcode to unlock the device and where to prompt for tips and signatures, either on the device or on the printed receipt. You can edit these settings later in the setup app. Next, we'll install the printer paper. Open the printer door and insert the paper roll. Then print a test receipt. Getting started with Clover Mini is fast and easy. Your account settings and inventory or menu can be configured and managed from the Clover web dashboard. And when you're ready to take payments, simply add items to an order and follow the device prompts. To learn more about getting started, go to clover.com slash help.